war brings death and destruction. But it also brings opportunities for self-enrichment. This has always been the case, throughout history. That's why you have the term soldier of fortune. But it's not just about the fighters. Every army needs camp followers, a horde of support staff to help with logistics and supplies. This is as true today as it was during any other era. And that is the role some Indians wanted to fill in Russia. A few Indians believed they could get a job helping the Russian army. They were trying to find a post away from the front lines. So they reached out to agents, Indian middlemen who got them in touch with Russian forces. They apparently paid these middlemen a fee of about three lakh rupees. That's when they were told they had gotten their jobs. The Indians say they were promised back-end roles, with pay reaching almost 2 lakh rupees per month. They were also promised a 50,000 rupee monthly bonus. So the Indians caught a flight and arrived in Russia. They went from all over India, Uttar Pradesh, Telangana, Punjab, Gujarat, Jammu and Kashmir. The exact number hasn't been confirmed. The estimates range from between 10 to 21. But the fact is that there are Indians who went to Russia to get jobs as support staff. But once they arrived, that's when things went south. Some of the victims say their passports were confiscated. They were given some basic training in handling arms and ammunition. Then, about two months later, they were sent off to the front lines. Some were apparently shipped to Rostov-on-Don, others to Donetsk. The Indians were apparently forced to fight. And this is not what they had signed up for. They were supposed to be support staff, not cannon fodder. But they were deceived. Who lied to them? The agents or the Russians? The agents are pointing their fingers at Russian officials. They say people of other nationalities are trapped there too. Meanwhile, the Russians are yet to respond. But India isn't waiting around. The Indian government has reached out to Russia. It has asked that Indian nationals be discharged and be released from service early, in case they are under some legal contract. This may not solve the problem, however, because reports say some Indians aren't keen to return. They want to recover their 3 lakh joining fee before heading home, which causes a headache for the Indian government. They have now issued a new warning, urging all Indian nationals to exercise due caution and stay away from the conflict. Let's hope people heed the advice.